Jade Abadesian joining us <laughs> here in the Freak Nation. And Jade, I figured as much when we got you here in the Freak Nation, we knew you would be at some damn racetrack. And that's where you are right now, right? Yep, I'm at the go kart track in Mooresville track house to practice for some road course stuff in a few weeks in VIR. Hold on, hold on just a second. So you're at a go kart track. Listen, you're a big time sprint car driver, but you're at a go kart track preparing for what? Uh, just the GR Cup races. So we'll run VIR, I think, in three weeks. Um, and obviously, all that stuff's road course. So, um, yeah, but like you said, obviously, I'm kind of known for the dirt, but um, I have a you know full GR Cup schedule this year. So I'm um, just trying to, you know, prepare and, um, you know, be the best I can when I get to the track. Can you explain how that came about for you? Because, yes, we know you as the Extreme Outlaws champion. We know you as, like you said, dirt and ovals. So how did this come about? And how long did it take for you to say, uh, yeah, I'll do it? <laughs> uh, I don't even really know how it really came about. I know when I signed with Toyota uh, back in November last year, they have obviously was thinking about um, this year in 2024 and, um, you know, what – what I was going to do, and um, obviously I, they kind of decided on still quite a few dirt races, around 40 races, and then um, obviously to kind of get my feet wet for the road course side of things, and um, going into it, they know I had, you know, little to no experience, so um, that's why I'm kind of out here just trying to get laps on laps, and, um, but yeah, honestly, I don't, I don't know why they picked, you know, GR Cup, but um, I'm kind of glad they did. And um, it's something different, right? Something I've never done before. And um, at some point of, you know, my career, it's going to be good to, you know, know road courses. Without question. question. And everything you've done, when you've taken that next step into another level of racing, your focus, at least from what I've seen outside looking in, your focus is so it, you're just so determined. You're so tunnel vision, which is good. And I, I assume that's how you're approaching this now. Having said that, in the past, I've also seen that NASCAR has been the goal for you, NASCAR Cup Series. This might change things. Maybe a little sports cars, maybe a little IndyCar. Who knows, right? Yeah, I know. A lot of people have been saying that because obviously, you know, NASCAR doesn't have many road courses, but they still have a few. And, um, you know, I'm going to be honest, you know, my still my goal still to this day is um, to be racing on Sundays in the Cup Series. But um, at the end of the day, if it, you know, all doesn't work out, at least I have hopefully something to go back at and um, if it doesn't work out. So um, like, I, like I was saying, though, it's good that I, I learned this now. Um, I think it's, you know, better to learn, you know, stuff when you're younger than when you're older and, um, you know, when the time is, you know, really, really counts. So, um, you know, I'm lucky and grateful for Toyota and all the people, you know, great people around me to put me in these spots. And, um, you know, it's just another another tool in my toolbox almost. Jade Abadesian joining us here in the Freak Nation, Extreme Outlaw Champion. Jade Abadesian joining us here in the Freak Nation. And again, you hear her schedule. It's pretty, pretty much bonkers. And it might be a situation where you find something new in the future that, holy smokes, I didn't realize I was so, so good at this, which you'll find like whether, whether it's a Kyle Larson or an IndyCar driver that could be an experienced driver in all forms of racing. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, just going back to Toyota and everyone, you know, a part of it, um, you know, for them to, you know, take a chance on, you know, a young kid and um, a kid with, you know, no experience of, you know, what their goal is later in life is, um, you know, a big, you know, a big part and, you know, a lot of a lot of thinking went into it and um, or a lot of thinking went in it for for them. But on my side, I I knew what, you know, the opportunity had and um, obviously, you know, you can't turn these things down. So, um, yeah, I'm super, super excited to um you know have road course experience and then obviously you know still do my dirt stuff it's you know what i what i love and um you know the midget stuff is you know a blast and obviously um you know probably brought my name up you know the most out of it last year you know we're talking a lot about toyota in this interview obviously toyota's an amazing partner for you you have mentioned many times how you've looked up to kyle larson you've looked up to christopher bell on the Toyota side of things, now Christopher Bell is in interviews giving you serious accolades. She's getting a lot of respect from the industry of what she's doing. I don't want to say that female race car drivers in the past haven't gotten 
respect, but they've been treated differently and their goals and good performances are ranked differently than a race car driver. And she is breaking down those barriers. That, aside from being surreal, how has that kind of influenced your, your approach into additional racing as well? Yeah, it's super cool. Um, you know, obviously I look up to, you know, the Larson or Larson and um, Christopher Bell, you know, those are two rare people in the, the racing world that, um, you know, don't come up every day. So, um, you know, for them to say, you know, such great things about me and um, it just, I don't know, it makes me feel special. And um, it definitely, it definitely helps, you know, the whole, the whole picture for, you know, the whole and the whole entire thing. And, um, you know, now it's just kind of me going out and, and racing and executing and, um, you know, doing the best I can on the track. Jade, we have Crasher and I, we have a 10 year old daughter and she is away at camp. She's 10 year old, 10 years old. And she got a little homesick. Hell, I got a little homesick. And with you being away from your family so much, how did you get over being homesick or are you over being homesick and being home on the West coast? Well, I mean, I moved out to Mooresville last February, um, or two Februarys ago, I guess now, almost a year ago. Um, so it's, it's good to be out here, but don't get me wrong. When I go back to California, it's also nice to be home because, um, you know, those were where all my, you know, original friends were almost and um, all my family. But um, for, you know, what I want to do, obviously, I need to be out in Mooresville. And um, yeah, and honestly, you know, it's it's kind of hard to say if I'm homesick because we're gone, you know, so much. We were just gone all last week and got back yesterday morning for midget week. So uh, we definitely have a pretty busy schedule, pretty bu busy schedule. Actually, I'm going to say something here because we're, we've got you to help promote on the rise, an amazing show with you being featured Thursday on Mav TV. And I saw a sneak peek of it. And in that was actually your father saying, you know, I need to let go. Mm. I need to let her be herself. Kenny, that is completely you. You need to let the kids, let them get out of the nest and let them develop on their own. Because Jade, you're a perfect example of how that's where success comes from, is finding your passion on your own and then just vaulting with it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm sure this is, you know, also in the show, but, um, you know, realistically, I don't, I didn't know if my dad even, you know, wanted me to race and, um, obviously, you know, he kind of gave me the chance and, um, he said, if you want to do it, you know, you can do it. If not, you know, we'll find a different sport. So, um, <laughs> obviously, you know, that's what I picked and this is what I love to do, but, um, he definitely, you know, gave me the choice and, um, you know, even to this day, um, you know, he's definitely, you know, tough on me if I race, if I don't race as good as I should be. But um, at the end of the day, he knows that um, I'm just going to be, you know, tough on myself because how bad I want it. So um, it's definitely good to have, you know, some of the best parents I feel like, you know, around me with, my, you know, my mom and dad. So, um, yeah, they've kind of gave me, you know, all the tools that tools that I need right now. And, um, you know, like I said, now it's just kind of me, you know, going to do a good job and, um, you know, going to, you know, get the wins on the weekend. Jade, with your feature on Mav TV on the rise, there were cameras all in your face and we're just following you around a number of places. You've got a lot of cameras in your face right now because of your success. Was it strange having the cameras follow you around for uh, on the rise on Mav TV? Uh, not really. I feel like I've kind of gotten used to it. I feel like if you asked me maybe even a year ago or two years ago, I probably would have said, yeah, but, um, you know, obviously there's a lot of people around and, um, you know, with that being said, you know, there's a lot of cameras around. So, um, luckily, you know, I'm, I'm pretty used to it. Um, but it definitely was, you know, pretty cool to have, you know, everyone at Mav TV follow us around for a few races and, um, hopefully everyone can get like a little inside of it. Well, there was something about Monopoly. Can you, what's going on with Monopoly and Jade Avedizen? Oh, Monopoly is a struggle to say the least right now. Um, I don't know. We were home for Christmas and um, we just brought out a board game and it was Monopoly. And then we've kind of since, or we played since. So um, it's pretty fun. Um, it's pretty frustrating because I still haven't won a game, but um, we're, we're not going to give up and we'll be back on the Monopoly grind once, once racing kind of slows down. You know what? With all the NASCAR charter talk, if Toyota came up with a racing Monopoly game and the different boards were different charters, I bet you'd crush. 
Yeah, it would be pretty cool. I think, like, we have a racing, <laughs> like, theme almost of a sprint car track um, of Monopoly. So it is kind of cool. But, yeah, that would be a good idea. Jade, also, that you, you find in On the Rise on Mav TV, the show that you're going to be highlighted on on Thursday, is you working out with a number of other Toyota drivers. Has that changed your life with your specific workouts with the Toyota team? Uh, not really. Um, I think, you know, what they have here in Mooresville and CBC and TRD is, you know, great, not only for myself, but, um, you know, for everyone, every single driver. Um, I think it's, you know, it might not be as important in the dirt car, but when you go asphalt racing, obviously the, the races are extremely long and, um, you know, the midsummer gets extremely hot. So, mm. um, you know, they do a great job, um, you know, making sure we're pushing ourselves and, um, you know, even the stuff I'm doing right now, I think, um, like, obviously, I worked out this morning, and now I'm carding. So, um, it's just, you know, reps and, um, you know, working out and, you know, making sure you're sharp for the weekend. Can we get down to it, though? I mean, is, is carding a blast or what? Holy cow. No, it definitely is a blast. And some of the Toyota people are out here right now. They're ripping laps right now. So, um, <laughs> later today, once we go out, we'll, we'll have a little race probably. But, um, yeah, it definitely is pretty fun. All right, so of the Toyota drivers that you've run against in karting, uh, what's been the sweetest victory over what driver? <laughs> Who's, whose butt did you enjoy kicking the most? Well, I haven't really got to race much, honestly, um, just because they kind of like this. well, lately they've been kind of spreading us out so no one gets hurt and all that because obviously it's prime season right now. But um, <laughs> I'm sure at some point today we're going to have a little race, so – um, I think Tony's carding today, Bredinger, uh, Joe Graff's carding, and Weston Workman's carding right now. So um, I'm sure we're going to have a little race later. How sweet would it be to kick Christopher Bell's butt in a cart? <laughs> it would be pretty cool. Um, I've never carded against him. I, I'm not sure if he comes out here. I'm sure he does at, at some point, but mm -hmm. um, it would be pretty fun. <laughs> Well, Jade, we wish the best for you. It's been fun to watch your rise, and it's going to be even better to watch you on the rise on Mav yes. TV coming up Thursday night, man. Good luck to you uh, for as you move forward. I'm sure we'll have you back here in the Freak Nation. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Nice talking to you guys. Absolutely. Go get them. Go kick some butt, like Kenny said. Thanks, Jade. Yeah, thank you. We'll do. Thanks. All right. All right. Bye. The weekend racing is over, or is it? Not on MAV TV. Monday is All American Racing Night on the network which never leaves the track. Sit back and enjoy grassroots red, white, and blue racing from America's most iconic tracks. Whether it's the precise lines of pavement ovals or the door banging action of the dirt, MAV TV's Monday Night lineup will bring you all the action from this country's legendary four wheel battlegrounds. Monday Night is All American Racing only on MAV TV, Motorsports Network. One of the main reasons for poor vehicle performance is a dirty fuel system. It can cause decreased fuel economy and actually do harm to your engine over time. By adding Lucas Fuel Treatment to your vehicle, it cleans and lubricates the entire fuel system, pump, carburetors, fuel injectors, and valves as you drive. It also improves your vehicle's performance. It's a non-solvent product designed to protect both gasoline and diesel engines. Lucas Fuel Treatment, it works. General Tire delivers. Looking for power to spare? Count on an FVP battery. FVP. Verified. Proven.